Stardew Valley is one of our favorite games to play as a couple, but you might be wondering what makes it such a great game to play together. So I wanted to share 11 of our tips to help you enjoy multiplayer just a little bit more. First, you should decide how you wanna play. You can choose whether you wanna share your gold or not, which will have a pretty big impact on how you play the game. We personally prefer to share our gold as it gives us common goals and we get to work together to reach those goals. But if you're a little more competitive or just wanna do your own thing, then choose not to share your gold when you create your farm. However, if you feel differently later, you can always go change the setting by visiting this book in the mayor's house. If you're not a fan of sharing your house, then you should create an extra cabin when you're creating your game. This will give each of you a place to call your own, and you can even place it anywhere on the farm you'd like. You can place up to three cabins on the farm, so make sure to give each of your friends a comfy home. Water your crops together. Before you get sprinklers, watering your crops can take up a large portion of your day, but playing together gives you the opportunity to get it done faster and move on to different, more enjoyable aspects of the game. One of the more challenging parts of Stardew Valley is progressing through the caves and fighting all the monsters. We always enjoyed going together as that meant faster progression since you have more picks to break rocks to uncover ladders and you have a higher likelihood of remaining alive since you can fight enemies together and share food if need be. There's nothing more demoralizing than heading off to the caves alone and biting off a little more than you can chew. You might be sensing a theme, but the core of enjoying a co-op game is doing things together. But you also shouldn't be afraid to go off on your own. The game is fantastic both in co-op and solo. Because of the game's unique nature, there are no limits that mean you have to be together all the time. So enjoy fishing together and foraging alone. Do you, do what you want, and just have fun. Have somewhat assigned tasks each day that make things more efficient. Carly would generally take care of the chickens every morning while I would look after the cows. Find out what each of you enjoy doing and use that to your advantage. Carly loved fishing while I didn't, so if there was ever any fishing that needed to be done, I would let her do that while I took care of things I enjoyed more. Be a little competitive. See who can build the cooler farm, who can catch the most fish, who can make friends faster with the townsfolk. There are so many things to do and a little competition won't hurt as you increase your skills. If you're playing split screen or even if you're not, consider making your hotbar bigger with this setting in the menu. I honestly wish it could get even bigger because sometimes playing split screen sitting on a couch, it can be pretty hard to tell what item you have or how many. Work together to complete tasks before the time runs out. While there are some tasks in the game that will require you to work together, the majority of them will be your own individual task, but it will be the exact same as your friends or your spouses. If someone wants a specific food or fish delivered to them, make sure to share your resources so that everyone can complete the task and reap the rewards. Warn each other that night is approaching. As you may know, when 2 a.m. rolls around, if you're not in your bed, you'll fall unconscious and lose money to hospital bills. So if you notice a friend not home by 11, it might be a good time to let them know what time it is as they may not have noticed. And if you're sharing money, their loss will be your loss too. If you're gonna play on a console, you should know the Nintendo Switch only supports two players, while other consoles support up to four. Now go ahead and click on this playlist right here to find a ton more couch co-op games personally vetted by us that you'll absolutely enjoy playing with your significant other, family, or friends. I love you guys, y'all are awesome.